Alright, I'm playing The Long Dark, which is an early access game, uh, originally funded by Kickstarter, and uh, they released a Linux version of the client uh, last week, coincide with the official um, Steam release date. Uh, so, because it's early access, the story mode isn't implemented. Uh, all you've got is sandbox mode. Now, it's a uh, it's a survival game, but it's not survival horror. It's uh, it's just what have we got here? I think you saw right. It's not survival horror. It is uh, just survival. So it's a post-apocalyptic world. Uh, you see, this is the normal mode, hard mode. Uh, for now, I'm going to do uh, easy mode. I've been playing this for about an hour and a half. I've, I've basically archived uh, archived my save and so I can do a video from the start sort of thing uh, yeah not very descriptive two silhouettes I don't think it makes any difference at all to what actually goes on in the game which one of the silhouettes you choose right so our plane has crashed down. How long can we survive? So here we are in the middle of the wilderness. See, it's not, they've not gone for realism, they've gone for stylized. Uh, but it does look quite nice and it does convey the being really cold. So there are four things that you have to monitor. Uh, your temperature, how arrested you are, how full you are, food, and how thirsty you are. Uh, and then you have a calorie store and what what the current conditions are for your body. Let's just have a look at the uh, at the inventory. You see we're wearing a jacket, some socks, um, we've got a bedroll, we've got a bunch of other stuff. Presumably because we're on easy mode, we start with a whole load of crap. But everything equipped, everything has uh, various factors uh, to do with overall warmth and uh, wind chill bonus. So, let's start having a wander around. You should find that if you keep moving, uh, your body temperature will stay, stay up reasonably. However, in order to do things, there we go. So it will take us 10 minutes to break down this stick. It will consume 21 calories of our 1,178. And will we'll give us two sticks. Let's go for it. Because the sticks we can actually pick up and uh, later use to uh, make a fire. I think I can use this. Yeah, she can use that. Yes, for sure. Now, hopefully, I'll find some interesting stuff to do. Obviously, because I've got it in easy mode, there'll be no combat. Uh, there are walls and stuff that will that will attack you. Nice touches, like your footprints stay in the snow so you can see where you've been. So basically, the object of the game is not to freeze to death or starve to death or... Um, oh, there's some wolf wolf sounds for us. No, not to freeze to death or starve to death, or uh, or any of the other possibilities for dying there. So I've got yeah ten hours of daylight left. Let's go. Now, when I started playing this, I was using my Steam controller. I'm, I'm playing with the keyboard and mouse now. I've not completely got the hang of the steam controller but it did it 
did it worked just fine with the steam controller. I was entirely satisfied with with how it was working. It was just me that was uh, the problem. So as I understand it, uh, the world is the same every time in, in terms of general layout. Uh, what spawns in the world varies from playthrough to playthrough. Uh, and then what the object of the game is, so we can't break that down without a hatchet. The object of the game... Ooh. Some wolves chasing some deer there. Those of the game is just survive as long as possible. Now I'm going to head off in that direction. Let's just lay it where that wolf and that deer went. Safe in the knowledge that the wolf won't attack me in this game. Uh, but I don't have any hunting equipment of my own so far. So what we can see, you see the wolf has brought down the deer and is busy feasting away. Uh, so I can just basically go over there, scare the wolf off, there we go, and then harvest the deer while it's not frozen. Once it is frozen, 1% frozen you see, once it is frozen you can't get anything out of it. So I've got no tools, so it'll take me some time. So let's just, uh, just for, you notice at the minute I'm here. So as I harvest, let's get some meat. That's going to take me two and a half hours, burn 300 calories, and I'll be significantly colder after this has happened. Yeah, see? Cold now. So I won't hang around there any longer. I'll leg it down the hill. see what we're doing. We're still cold. So really what we want to find is some shelter at this point. Now let's head over this way. Yeah, the map is the same. Ooh, is that a bear? Cool. The map is the same every time. Uh, but since this is only the second time I've started a game, I couldn't tell you uh, exactly where I am. Not too bad. I'm getting a bit peckish. Let's, uh, let's see if I've got something to eat here. Raw meat. What's that? Salty crackers. It'll make me thirsty. Peaches. I've got water, so let's eat the salty crackers. And uh, if I check back now, now I'm thirsty, so let's drink the water. And see, I'm still cold, so let's carry on. More deer around. What I'm going to do is leg it over this hill and hope something, uh, something appears on the other side. Now, one thing I have been doing as I play this is uh, I keep falling off things. When you fall off things, you get injured. And uh, being injured, oh, rabbit, deer, rabbit being injured affects your ability to move around uh, and in order to recover from the injury you need to sleep you need to sleep for for a while or rest oh here's a dead body look so someone froze to death we can search their body and find nothing can I open this door open a door over here. So you find these shelters from time to time. And there we go. And when you change in when you go in a shelter or you sleep, then you get you uh, get an autosave. 
Ooh, bench. All right, yeah, let's break down the bench. We've got six hours of daylight left. Pick up the reclaimed wood. Search the metal container. Thin wool sweater. Okay, so let's uh, take that as well. Let's have a look and see what the thin wool sweater will do for us. Alright, so it's not better than the one we're currently wearing. Uh, I'll keep it for now. I'm not sure if we get to do stuff with the things. Let's examine this corpse. Yeah, let's take the beef jerky. So you can see everything takes time. Like the hatchet to break that down. Everything takes time and burns calories, so you have to monitor everything the whole time. Wait a minute. I'm warming up a bit because I'm inside. Is there anything in the crate? No. Let's just check if there's anything under the benches or the beds. What's that? Energy bar. Let's take it. So I suspect if I sleep here, so it feels like one, if I sleep here for an hour, burn 38 calories, I'll warm up a bit. I don't want to use it all my day like that. Now I should say, it's a survival game, obviously. There we go, I'm nice and warm now. How cool is that? Survival game. I quite often on Steam see these survival games. They're obviously very popular in early access. And I think, ooh, that sounds really cool. I'll buy that. And then I basically never play it, ever. Uh, it's, it's like, I like the idea of survival games, but then I don't actually enjoy playing them that much. But so far... Uh, I'm quite enjoying this one. I mean, I like the fact that if you play it, you can explore and you don't get attacked by zombies uh, while you're still trying to figure out what the F is going on. Uh, I like the sort of stark, stark, cold art style they've got going on. It's quite, uh, it's quite cool. Unnamed Pond. So let's uh, go over there. Let's get these little symbols on the bottom left. I've not figured out what they do yet. I think perhaps that indicates I can go fishing. I'm not sure. But I've not figured out the game. Ooh, look at all this guff. Survival bow. Suitable for Morgan, right. I've not done anything with bow yet. Okay. Oh, I've got a hatchet. Cool. There's. A newsprint which I can use to start a fire when I find a hut. So I've got a hatchet. So now some of them bigger branches that I wasn't able to do anything with before. Ooh, cedar wood. I should be able to do something with. Let's find a big branch. I did let's see. Let's carry onwards. I'm bound to come across some. And you never know, we might land at a place we know. Alright, what's, oh, what's this stuff? Let's harvest some saplings. Check. We're warm, we're rested, we're not hungry. So I think that looks like a branch we can attack with our axe. Right, break right down, go. Now it's getting dark now. It's 
So, this is where we uh, come to a decision. Should I push on in the hope that I find some shelter, or should I should head back to that hut I was at before where I can safely spend the night in the warm? And I can't see anything that way, so let's head back in the general direction of that hut. I hope I get there before it gets dark. That more do it. So I might have to have a go at hunting rabbits before I uh, before I wrap up the video. I should imagine. Oh, I'm tired. Tired. I should imagine I'll be really terrible at it. So, if I remember correctly, the hut was over this hill, wasn't it? I'm tired now, so I'm moving more slowly. No afflictions, that's the thing where you get injured. I've survived for 8 hours, I've got 3 hours of daylight left. So, the first time I played it, I did. Uh, I slept outside. I just wasn't sure what to do. And uh, there's the hut. Let's break down the wood on the way, look. Two hours of daylight left. All of this will be handy later. But I want to get to that hut and spend the night there. Oh, there's a rabbit. Let's not. Let's do this first. So we've got two hours of daylight left. So is there anything else we can do in the hut? Can we break down the bench now? Yes, we can. We've got a hatch yet. A load of wood once I find a fireplace. What can I do with that? Ooh. Less than one hour, so it'll be dark by the time we're finished. But the bed's there, there it is. Ten hours of darkness. So I don't think I've got a light. So let's first eat something. Eat. So what state am I in now? Drink. I'm looking good. So let's just sleep through the night at this point. And see if we can find some more interesting stuff in the morning. We're awake. I survived. There's a load of crap on the floor that I can't really see. Starting fires. Let's just check I picked it all up. Looks like it. I've looted the cups already. Right. Back out to Mystery Lake. So, can we spot any rabbits? No. Oh, no, 
there's one. So let's see. Now I'm thirsty and hungry. What have I got? I've not got any water. Which is going to be a problem. Use a hatchet to open a can of peaches. There we got to. Right. So let's see if I can equip a bow and hunt a rabbit. Some rabbits. Let's see. Where was that bow at? There, right. Survival bow. Okay. Missed him. Can I reclaim my arrow? Yes. So I'm guessing I have to get pretty close to a rabbit. Missed him. Well, that's something that will take some practice. Let's pick it up again. Let's uh, unequip the bow for now. I won't waste time being, uh, uh, you know being an embarrassing shot. Let's carry on. I really want to find a, uh, a stove to uh, show you what goes on with that. I'm not entirely sure where to go to find one. So let's just head in this general direction. I've got a whole load of wood, so I'll just ignore that for now. Uh, walls unfortunately run away from me because I'm on easy mode because clearly I wouldn't be able to hit them with a bow and arrow and they are hunting deer though I'm back at the unnamed pond let's try not to get wet And let's head up over that hill. What are these things? Well, Alright, they just leaves, I think. Yeah, it just leaves. And head up over this hill, this might take some time. This is the bit about uh, survival games that usually gets me, you know, you spend a lot of time walking up a hill and you know you get to the top of the hill think well now I'll see something and then you get attacked by some creature and die and I find that incredibly frustrating yeah I know but I appreciate some people really like that sort of thing that constant uh, constant pressure But I'm more into the just exploring. But yeah, it should be pointed out, at this moment in time, I am completely lost. And she's sighing. 
Not sure why. Rabbits again. Big tree. I should imagine we're getting a bit cold at the minute. Oh, the hut. Cold, dry mouth. Dead for an area. Alright, so I have been there before. Right, so there is a stove here, which is handy. Yeah. Useful. So what I'm going to do is light a fire. Uh, we'll use some seed of firewood. It'll go for an hour. Start the fire. So this is a... Oh, I failed to start the fire. Let's try again. 11 matches, I've got a tinder plug. Let's try with accelerant this time. There we go. Let's add some fuel. Right. So now we've got a fire going. And hopefully I'm getting warm. We can do a couple of things. First of all, we can cook that venison we harvested. There we go. Uh, we can cook the peaches. I'm not going to bother. We can melt snow. Because clearly there's snow lying all over the place. And then we can boil the snow to make it drinkable. And then, so here we go, peckish. Let's get in there, let's eat our venison. There we go, pretty good. Let's drink our water. I drank 0.4 litres. So everything's looking pretty good for me now. While I'm here though, I'm going to uh, melt some more snow. And boil it. looking pretty good. I'm getting warm. I'm getting rusted. That's life for a day. I've got 10 hours of daylight left. So that is, uh, in large part, the game of so much what I've had so far. There is crafting. There's crafting tables. I'll, uh, I might wander off around that way and see if I can find one. I think up there. Just wait for the fire to uh, go out before I do anything. Uh, the crafting tables, you can uh, you know, manufacture bows and arrows and uh, water skin coats and all sorts of malarkey like that. Uh, I do like, like I said before, I like that it's a stylized and very really stark art style, but that fits very well, I think, with uh, what's going on. What's going on in the game? On easy mode, there's not really any any risk of uh, of people attacking you. Or well, not people, wolves. I don't think there are any other uh, people. 
for you to find other than the dead bodies that you're searching it's a case of uh, exploring stuff and, uh, and that sort of thing uh, I presume recipes will get unlocked as you play the game further oh, right so here's the train tracks so this is right so this is a good spot so there's a train wreck over there over that way there's a tunnel collapse there's quite a lot of deer around here and down here there's a little hut which has a crafting table in it and a Canadian flag it is a Canadian game I think so I'm going to go in here and just uh, camp office. And I have to go up the steps. There we go. In we go. So let's just uh, loot the office. Yes, you do. Right, there's a stove. Oh, can I know. How convenient. Bandage. So that is so I was in here before. And there was no can owner. There was a storm lantern. You can see how the different stuff ooh, orange soda, take it. Lovely. Oh uh, yeah, the different stuff spawns for different different playthroughs. Nothing going on there. There's a stove up here, look. There's a bed. Anything under the bed? No. Look, useful for starting fires. Look, useful for starting fires. Newsprint. Starting fires. Create a bedroll like I've already got. Searched all that already. Okay, let's just start a fire quickly then. Good, good. Start a fire. So I did, you actually saw I failed earlier when doing it outside. Yeah, I failed again. Let's try. Let's try one more time. I don't think I've got any accelerant, so I just have to keep practicing. It's a skill check. Can we do it? We're nearly there. No. No, I've got no accelerant. So I'm using up my tinder plugs and I'm using up my matches. And a fire starting skill, so 56%. You would expect me to get it one of these times before all my matches run out. I might at that point die because I can't start any more fires. Or I have to keep this one going forever. And that basically is the challenge of the game, it's just to uh, survive as long as possible. Boom! I've increased my fire starting skill to 52. So let's add, add a bit more fuel. And let's just nip over here to where there's a crafting table. And there's usually some loot on the crafting table as well. Oh, there's the lantern, look. Probably useful. 
just look at the crafting. That's the last thing. I won't be able to craft anything, I don't think. Uh, yeah. Wound dressing. Torch. I'm not going to kerosene. That's uh, so this cured gut. So I could probably make one of those if I had some cured gut. And I will show you that line. Fishing tackle. I need a hook. I'll show you how to make cured gut. Uh, so, I, uh, so I'll do it here in front of the fire. Let's go into my inventory and find my crafting materials and drop that on the floor. What was that? Fresh deer hide. Right, drop that on the floor. Right. So what we should find is that a deer hide starts curing itself once you throw it on the floor, basically. I'm not sure you how long you have to uh, have to wait. It's at one percent now. It could be it could be many hours and days. But there we go. I looked in all these things. I think it is getting dark now. So I'll switch check outside. Okay, so I'm trying to generate right now, it's just dark in there. So I found this was all birds. I found this was quite a handy spot. Because there's wolves over there, look. There's deer up there, and so the deer, uh, the wolves will attack the deer, and then you can go and harvest them and, uh, you know, pick up all the guts and everything. There's also some interesting uh, looting spots up that way and down that way, where the deer are running after. Uh, there are better places, so I understand, so you've uh, played longer and explored a bit more, but... This has been a good spot for me so far. So, that's been a quite long-winded introduction to The Long Dark, the early access survival game. Not survival horror, just survival. And uh, I think it's pretty good, actually. I've been enjoying it. Which is, uh, for me... <laughs> I don't often get into these survival games. Uh, I did watch some videos on YouTube of guys who are actually into outdoors survival and all sorts of stuff. And they did some very good introductions of, uh, you know, optimum survival strategies and uh, the how long to survive for. So check them out if you're really into that sort of thing. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I'll recommend you, you look up this game on Steam and, and consider supporting developers in early access. It, uh, Works really well on Linux. Works works in big picture mode with the Steam controller as well. I'm uh, very happy with it. That's it. The long dark. Check it out. <laughs>